Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, The Wanderlust Wales. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Morgan, I'm 20 years old and I'm currently living in the small city of Gloucester in England in the UK. So I've created this channel as a way of sharing with everyone my experiences of travel, the world, like kind of an insight into my life, what I get up to. Um, there'll be some tips and tricks along the way as well so stay tuned if you're interested so for my first video today um, for those of you who don't already know last month I went on my first ever solo trip abroad to Amsterdam so today I'm gonna tell you some of the top experiences I had while I was there originally it was gonna be a top five but I wasn't able to narrow it down, so it is actually a top six. So the first place I went to that I recommend is the Van Gogh Museum. It was absolutely incredible and it was so good seeing all the paintings like up close in person. Even got to see the famous sunflower one, which is just amazing. Definitely need to add it to your bucket list if you plan on going to Amsterdam and the other thing to bear in mind if you do plan on going here is that you need to book in advance tickets sell out like a couple of weeks in advance so you won't be able to wait until you actually get there to buy a ticket um luckily i had purchased one in advance but i know while i was there there was a few people and a few different groups coming up trying to buy tickets and they all just got turned away and said like tickets sell out weeks in advance so definitely buy your tickets online before you go. But I highly recommend it. It is so, so good to see. Um, especially if like you're an art student as well, because I don't study art and I know how much I appreciated it and seeing the paintings. And I'm sure if you are like an art student, um, you would probably appreciate it like a hundred times more. So the next place I highly recommend going to is the Anne Frank house. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures in here as we weren't allowed to take any, um, but it is just amazing. They let you go inside the actual annex where they hid during the two years um, and there's the real bookcase there as well. Um, it's just a really moving experience. So the next thing I recommend that I personally did was a canal boat tour. So the one I did left directly outside Anne Frank's house and it lasted about an hour. They take you around the main canals and tell you a bit about the history of the area. Um, it was just really lovely, like I just relaxed on the boat, um, the weather was nice. Definitely is something I recommend if you go to Amsterdam. Okay, so the fourth thing on my list is a must-do whilst in Amsterdam. You have to hire out a bike and ride around the city. In case you didn't already know, Amsterdam is home to thousands of bikes and it is the number one way of getting around. It is really convenient and easy to do and there are shops everywhere to hire bikes from. Um, also, I then met these people and they decided to take some really nice pictures of me in front of Damrak, which was just lovely. So during my time in Amsterdam I actually hired bikes out twice because I found it so fun and enjoyable. The first day uh, I hired out a bike and then I also did it on the last day before I went home. Um, as well you will have seen on that clip that I had it on a ferry. That's because you can go over to like the other side of Amsterdam um, and take the bikes across. It's also really cheap to do. I think both times I paid 12 euros to hire the bike out for three hours um, and that had like damage and theft insurance included in it as well obviously if you don't want the insurance it's less than that I think it works out roughly at like three euros an hour so it is definitely something everyone should do whilst in Amsterdam Number five on my list is one of the ones I'm most excited about. So I went to the Amsterdam lookout tower. You catch the ferry across and then from the top it has the most stunning views of the city. Uh, there's no time limit on how long you stay up there as well. So you just pay for entry and go up. And there's also a sky bar at the top. So I actually sat and ordered a drink. 
um, just chilled out while I was up there. And then this lovely man offered to take some pictures of me, uh, which was really nice. So here's me with my drink, just enjoying the views. And then this is the river that you catch the ferry across and that's Amsterdam Central Station there. Um, and then it's also home to Europe's tallest swing. So there's a swing that actually swings you off the edge of the lookout tower and you can pay a, a little additional fee in order to do that, which I actually did and I highly recommend. It is so amazing and the views are phenomenal. And then this is a picture that I bought of myself on the swing. So the last and final place on my list is the Sky Lounge at the Doubletree Hilton Hotel um, in Amsterdam Central. So I went up there, ordered a few cocktails, ordered some food to eat. Um, here's me eating a pizza, which was absolutely lovely, but it was the messiest pizza ever to eat. Um, bit awkward. Anyway, up there it's just really nice you know they've got live music playing there was the dj he was having a drink himself um and the views are just incredible the sunset was amazing this night as well so i got some nice pictures during that time and i just sat and chilled i was probably up there for like two and a half hours enjoying the sun um just living my best life So that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what you think. Give it a like, comment down below, uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell in order to be notified when I next post. I have got some very exciting content coming in the upcoming months. I've got a few trips planned that I'm hoping to vlog and share with you. So uh, stay tuned for all that exciting stuff. Uh, and that's it from me. Bye.